Eight strangest places where people actually live. The monasteries of Meteora, Greece. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is an official holy place for Greece since 1995. Meteora today has become a preservation ark for the 2,000-year-old Christian Orthodox creed. Today, out of initially 24 monasteries that used to exist, only six remain active for people to visit. A vast complex of giant rock pillars with monasteries made on the picks of sandstone cliffs centuries ago offers a unique perspective of nature's grandeur. Mygingo Island the island that looks like an iron-plated turtle covers less than half a football pitch but more than 500 people, as per reports. Mygingo is situated in Lake Victoria and has been a source of tension between Uganda and Kenya, who have been unable to decide to whom it really belongs. They were once pushed to the brink of what some said would have been Africa's smallest battle over the island. In the meantime, the island is co-managed by both countries but tensions occasionally flare up. Dina River House For more than 40 years, this increasingly famous, the nameless cabin has been balanced atop a rock in the middle of the river. What's more astonishing is the story behind building this home in a bizarre place. It was constructed in 1968 by a group of young friends looking for a quiet and secluded place to build a retreat for sunbathing after a good swim. The boys began to transport wood from an old disused warehouse, using makeshift boats and canoes to navigate the river, as well as using the current to float over some of the larger pieces of wood. And thus was born one of the country's most iconic wooden houses, and since then, Dina River House has served as a holiday respite for its creator. The one-room cabin is located in the middle of the Dina River, in Serbia, near the city of Ba Yinabasta, on the edge of the beautiful natural landscape of the Terra National Park. Hanging Temple of Hungshan Located in one of China's five great mountains, the Hanging Temple has become a tourist hotspot. Pinned to the side of Mount Hang, which is located in Shanxi Province, the monastery has been in a hanging position for more than 1,500 years. The Hanging Monastery is said to have been built in 491 AD during the late Northern Wei Dynasty. It is believed that a single monk named Liao Ran initiated the construction of these hanging temples. The site was perfect for those engaged in meditation, as noises from the ground did not reach such lofty heights. Chong Ni's Floating Village It's one of the richest inland fishing grounds in the world home to not only over 200 different species of fish but also to over 1 million people. People over there live in houseboats above water which create pockets of floating villages throughout this 1,042 square miles lake. Chong Nis is located in Cambodia in the Siem Reap region which contains the largest freshwater lake in all of Southeast Asia, called the Tan Lai Sap Lake. Droves of tourists flock to the floating village of Chongnias, and the boat trip includes two stops, one at a touristy floating fish and bird exhibition and the second one at Gecko Environment Center. For the residents of the floating villages of Chongnis, life on the water is not a cultural tradition that people cherish and wish to preserve. When the villagers were consulted about their living conditions, they said that they would prefer to live on the land and have access to clean water and sanitation as well as have their children go to proper schools. Cooper Petey Nothing about this region is for the faint heart, for starters, it can be extremely hot, the temperatures can go up to 113 degrees in summer. Many of Cooper Petey's residents live underground to escape the region's immense heat. Homes, bars, a church, and more can be found underground in what the locals call dugouts. Cooper Pedy is a small town in the outback of southern Australia, and is referred to as the opal capital of the world. Apparently, a long time back, a teenager found opal gemstones and since then, the region has been ground zero for opal mining. An estimated 70% of the world's opal production can be linked back to the town earning it the title of Opal Capital of the World. The Australian town of Cooper Pedy looks like something straight out of a movie, probably because it is. In 1985, 
Mel Gibson, Tina Turner and a team of filmmakers descended onto this barren mining town in the South Australian outback to shoot Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Santuario Madonna della Corona. It is built over 2,000 feet above sea level into a vertical cliff face on Italy's Mount Baldo in front of Aldadige. The Santuario Madonna della Corona, Sanctuary of the Lady of the Crown, looks as though it is nearly suspended in midair. The church can only be reached by a thin path from below and a street from above. Today the once treacherous mountain path to the chapel has been modernized and the remarkable church is still a popular pilgrimage site. Visitors come to see the Scala Sandra, a replica of the stairs to Pilate's palace that Jesus ascended before he was condemned to be crucified. Freedom Cove This unique fairyland can be found floating off the coast of Tofino, British Columbia. Thirty years ago Catherine King and Wayne Adams decided to start a project to build their dream home, a half-acre floating complex off the coast of western Canada, which they have dubbed Freedom Cove. It's a forested patch of eco-land equipped with greenhouses, small buildings, and all the whimsical off-grid contraptions that you could ever imagine. King and Adams began constructing Freedom Cove in 1992, and the nearest town is 10 miles away, by boat. They make the trip every few weeks, but mostly this is a subsistence lifestyle, growing almost everything they eat on their floating farm. The floating compound houses a dance floor, an art gallery, a candle factory, four greenhouses, six solar panels, and a small waterfall that provides constant running water.